it's time for me to do some last touches on my makeup but do i have any loving souls as my subscribers that are virgos if you are show some love in the comments i would love to see you guys and if you're not that's okay too show some love my couple girl lipstick has a weird texture for some reason maybe i got a bad batch but i thought it was my lips so i cleaned it off to try it again and i just sticked with it because that's what i had for red and yeah peace this is the final makeup look, Love and Souls. It's not dramatic, but it's something. I don't really go for dramatic makeup looks, even on my birthday. I just like something really simple, and that's what I went with. So I just got my makeup done. I like them, but they're so short that... I prefer them being a little bit longer than this. It's just, but it's cute. So I'll go with it. For some reason, my body is retaining a lot of water. It doesn't help that I ate a whole thing of pasta, but my body is retaining water and I did drink truly a couple of them. So I think because of that, it's just not helping. I need to go get my brush. It's not helping, so I feel really, really bloated. I will wear the dress just to, sh just to show you guys, and I might just switch into a jeans and a shirt to cover my bloat. It's okay to be bloated, but it's my birthday, so I might just not wear the dress. I mean, I'll show you guys the dress, but I might not wear it when I go out, so yeah. So I'm thinking about either wearing this shoes right here. It's gonna if I do this, it's gonna look too wedding wedding. Thanks to my cousin for gifting me this beautiful shoes. I was considered wearing it for my birthday with the white dress, but I knew we we're going to do a lot of walking, so I didn't wear it. This is another option I wore for my mom's wedding. I didn't wear that instead. I wanted to be comfortable. For the sake of being comfortable, I'm going to go I'm going to go with this so I can be comfortable when I go out. So yeah. dress I decided to wear the dress even though I'm bloated I decided to wear it it's okay to be bloated yeah I might go out oh that's much better so the plan is um, we're all dressed my cousin's dressed we're gonna go to the mall and then go out to eat and then I might do something and then I might go out later I want to go out for a drink or get cake I don't care much for the cake but I might go out for a drink so that's the plan so far <sighs> oh, this is so strange. What's... I'm just walking around. The taxi isn't here yet. Is that... That looks like the taxi. It looks like the taxi. But I don't know what their taxi color looks like. I hope we didn't miss our ride. But it's like... He's like parked over there. And the hotel is back here. So I don't think... He's expecting us to walk over there, but maybe that's not our car. Oh, look, there's a fountain right here. So I'm gonna go check it out. Have you guys seen the movie for, what is it called? Nine Perfect Strangers. I started watching Nine Perfect Strangers and um, they were talking about this place where the go is tranquil. I kind of liked it. I'm looking, looking forward to a new episode. I could figure it out as the episode goes, but for now, I'm going to go back to my hotel and wait for my taxi. <laughs>
wants to go to Red Lobster to eat, so that's where we're gonna go. I'm coming, Angel. My makeup is still holding up, so we're gonna go eat. I'm not gonna eat, I'm just gonna have dessert. So she's gonna eat, I'm gonna have dessert. Yeah. You're waiting for me, Angel. I'm coming. I don't wanna run in this. You're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> When my first taxi driver came to pick me up, I think he had a shirt on and he took it off and he was in a tank top. I don't know how we got on the topic of weed, but he offered half of his weed that he's already smoked to me. And I was like, oh, no, I'm good. And we started driving to this middle of nowhere. And he said before he took me to my destination, he has to pick up somebody. But he hasn't been to this place himself. So we kept driving and I saw something on the road and I thought it was a cop car, but he said it was a go-kart or something. I'm going to play the audio. What was that supposed to be? Over there? Yeah, a cop car or police? No, that was a, a golf cart. Oh, okay. It turned out it was this uh, golf course that was far in the middle of nowhere. And he took me all the way over there. When we got there, there was nobody to pick up. He called the person. The person said they've already left. This is the part when my taxi driver started talking to the four deers. We were driving and I asked him if there were deers around there because it's a whole forest land. And we saw four deers closer to my apart sorry, closer to my hotel. He stopped the car, rolled down his window, and started talking to the deers. He told them something like, You know better not to bring your kids out here. It's late out here. Um you better watch out for your kids or something, like some sort of like a fatherly advice he was given to the four deers and we just parked there he talked to them and then he drove away in this clip that you're about to hear you won't hear him talking to the deer but you just hear our conversation he's a sweetheart this kind of stuff doesn't like make me feel weird or think he's weird it's just different for me <laughs> oh man that's so funny that's a lot of deers just hanging out. I'm telling you, look where they're going. Right over there. Oh, you're right. There's water. Right there. by my hotel, too. Yeah. That's why this motherfucker costs so much. This right here. Yeah. And not to mention, you can walk out your hotel and walk around the corner. Mm -hmm. Or even just walk through the back and you can walk to the restaurants if you That's really right. wanted to. That's what we did. This is when he took me out for a drink. All this was done with just me and him. My cousin was in the hotel. And he decided that he was going to take me somewhere else. But then he changed his mind to bring me downtown. This boy drove around showing me each and every bar. Giving me the option to choose which one I wanted to go to. So yeah, he took me out. And he wasn't doing this to overcharge me. He was just doing this because he said he was looking out for me. He agreed to pick me up after the bar closed, and he did. The 
second taxi driver kept texting my cousin. He wanted to hang out with us, so he asked if he can bring some alcohol over and hang out in our room. We said yes, he can bring Jose Cuevo, but we have to hang out in the lobby area. This is the lobby area. Um, he was really nice and respectful. They're all nice. And I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the lobby area. He offered to take us to the airport the next day, but we have already had that arranged, so we didn't need him. But yeah, just so sweet. So we just got to the airport, but the airport is still closed for. So we have our luggage and everything ready. And there's another guy waiting over there. And yeah, we're just waiting. You think that somebody will be here, but this is not a 24 hour airport. And we're in Paducah, Kentucky, that's where we were at. <laughs> a little town down south, it looks like. This is such a small town, it's crazy. And right now it's like 4 a.m. That's the plane right there. I think it's literally just one plane in the parking lot of the airport. Thank <laughs> you.